after listening to your comments about the Omas Arte Italiana Vision Extra Fine, I was curious how the Super Soft Pilot Custom Heritage 912 FA nib compares with the Omas Extra Flexible nib. Not that I have the extra five Benjamins to drop right now, but just wondering for future reference. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so, well, first of all, the Pilot Custom Heritage is like half the price. So that's a consideration for sure. Um, definitely a different type of pen. Um, but both of the nibs are really soft, but they are a little bit different from each other. And I'll try to explain as best I can how they're different, but it is very subtle and it is something that is more noticeable when you're writing. So to try to describe it is challenging, but I'm up for that challenge. So the Pilot Custom 912 FA, that's technically called their Falcon nib, which is different than the Pilot Falcon, which is a whole different pen, whole different nib, all different get up, don't even think about them as the same thing. It's very confusing, I admit, but the Custom 912 has a Falcon FA nib on that pen that is really, really soft, and it's got some mixed reviews, okay? It's even got mixed reviews among the Goulet staff here. So the challenge that you have with that pen is that it is a Japanese pen, and that pen in particular is really meant kind of more for a Japanese style of writing. So when you're writing in these Japanese characters, now I'm not well versed in how to actually do it, so forgive me if I'm speaking somewhat out of a little bit of ignorance from personal experience here. But they hold their pens a little more upright and they tend to write in shorter strokes. Um, just quick little kind of strokes with little bits of line variation. It's very different than the longhand form kind of Spencerian style that we might have in America or in many parts in Europe. So when you're writing with this FA nib and you're trying to do these long strokes with your flexing it out and have a really high ink demand on the pen, you're gonna have a lot of ink breakup. Um, so it's gonna to start to railroad, it's gonna have some ink flow issues, which really aren't issues if you're writing in the way that the Japanese write. So it's, it's something that is available here in the US now with the Custom 912, but for a lot of people, the way that they write is, is kind of outside of the way that that pen was intended. So um, it, it does better if you hold it upright and it does better if you're writing um, you know, kind of script but not flexing it out too hard. So that's basically it. It is extremely soft, but if, you are, if you're like me, if you write relatively quickly, if you write with a really low pen angle and a lot of writing pressure, you're gonna struggle with that nib a little bit and you're gonna to have to really adjust how you write if you wanna get used to that nib. Now, the, the difference between that and the Omos Extra Flexible nib. The Omos Extra Flexible nib is a more traditional, it's a number six size, it's a slightly larger nib than what's on the 912. Um, and it's a more kind of traditional European nib. So it's a little bit wetter um, and it's, it's a little, the, the cut on the tines is a little bit deeper, so it gets a little bit more spread on the tines. Um, so it's a little more line variation. So the challenge you have with the Omos, it, the ink flow will keep up, you know, pretty much as much as you try to flex it out. But the challenge you have is the nib is very soft, so it's easy to spring the tines. If you, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have the issue like with the Custom 912 where the ink flow kind of dries up and it starts to break up and you, you, you know, you're not, you don't have as much tendency to over flex that nib because why would you keep flexing it if the ink breaks up? You know, it's like you would stop. But the Omos, the flow keeps up. It's got an ebonite feed on that, um, which definitely helps, you know, with the capillary action. And as you're flexing it, you want to just keep flexing it more and more and think, oh, if I can go this broad, maybe I can go even broader, you know, so it doesn't really stop you. You have to be kind of disciplined in how much you're, you're pressing on that nib. And the first time I used it, I sprung the tines for sure. Um, I know Stephen Brown did his video on the Ojiva Alba. He did the same darn thing. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, you're going to have a tendency if you're coming from the Pilot Falcon, the original Falcon, not the... FA, but the Falcon, or if you're coming from the Noodlers, Ahab, or Conrad, or whatever, you're used to having to write with a little more pressure, you know, very intentionally to kind of get those tines to spread. So if you have the same tendency to want to do that with the Omos, you're going to spring those dang tines, and you're going to do it. I know it's going to happen. So you got to be careful with that thing. So um, that's kind of the major difference between the two. So the Omos, the ink will keep up, but it's easy to, to spring those tines, which um, if you don't spring them entirely and make the pen, make the pen like so, so spread out that it doesn't write reliably, 
then you could you could at least spring it enough so that it increases the ink flow and then doesn't write back to the original kind of extra fine line that you originally desired. So if you've got that extra fine and you're springing it, I wouldn't go any broader than probably like a broad nib size would go. So it's really just, it's meant to be very soft. You have to write with a light hand and it's meant for kind of a lower pen angle. So Falcon, higher pen angle, short strokes, works best. You know, ink will break off if you flex too much. The Omos, wetter, broader, lower angle, but it won't stop you, so you might spring the tines. So that's the big difference between the two. Um, you know, aside from all the other aspects of the pen, I just focus purely on the nibs, but um, should give you a little bit insight there as to what you're dealing with on that.